Today I'll be testing out one of the most expensive flat irons on the market. It's by one of my favorite brands, Bioionic, and the price is 269 US dollars. That's expensive. This has a lot of claims. Supposedly they're using graphene, which is one of the world's best heat conductors. So the temperature setting on here is slightly different. It goes from 265 up to 385. And the reason for that they're saying is because of graphene that they're using in this tool, the heat conduction is so even, evenly dispersed throughout the plates that you don't need high heat. I'm gonna be comparing it, well, we'll see. We'll see if I need to compare it to one of my favorite tools on the market, which is the Bioionic 10X. I see a huge difference in just the plates alone. That Graphene MX, they're a lot shorter. Just out of curiosity for my own sake, maybe you're interested as well, I'm actually gonna going to do side by side the 10X on my left and then the Graphene MX on my right side, just to see which side is shinier, which side is sleeker and smoother. I'm gonna keep the Graphene MX at 345 and then the Bioionic 10X at 340. Plates are very, very smooth. Well, that's one pass, not bad. But then again, my hair is not super curly and it's not super wavy by any means. Okay, <laughs> very sleek and straight, not bad at all. And the plates are very smooth. They're very even on the hair when you take them down. All right, and with this, I am going to use the vibrating plates because that's the feature that I really love about this particular flat iron, the 10X. So I think it's only fair because this is its best acid and then with the graphene mx it's actually the graphene that's its best acid so <laughs> we'll fly <laughs> yeah it's also very smooth but i feel like this is very <laughs> very smooth and i'm trying to take bigger sections of hair because i really like to see really expensive luxury flat irons how they perform on really bigger sections. Can't believe I'm gonna say this, but I actually prefer the Graphene MX side. It's more consistent all the way down. It looks very smooth and it actually looks very shiny. You can see a line on the 10X side versus the Graphene. I don't see any lines. Very small, but that's just kind of what I'm noticing in the mirror. Andre's gonna check the temperature, how it's running on both sides. Let's first do the 10X. Like I said, I have it running roughly around 340 Fahrenheit. And now it raised up to 235. 245 is the highest that it got. The hair, not the plates. So the hair is running around the highest 245 with the plates running at 340. All right, let's check the Graphene MX. Okay, these plates are super smooth. Wow. I have to like slow down. Slow down, turtle. Right away. 225. The highest it got was 230 on the Graphene MX side, and on the 10X side, we got to two, what was it, 245? Yeah, this side seems a lot more consistent, and I'm actually looking on the actual sides. You guys can kind of see the frizz right here. It's less on the MX side. And I'm trying to take really big sections of hair and thicker sections just to see how the heat will come through. And then this little baby section right here. Very smooth. For some reason I'm waiting for this one to also vibrate. <laughs> They're both bioionics, it's so interesting. I'm trying to go at the similar rate and speed. To be completely honest with you guys, they're both very, very smooth. And I didn't really expect this to really kind of blow out the 10X out of the water just because this one, the 10X is just so good with the vibrating plates. Like I said, that is its 
biggest asset for this flat iron and it's just, it's really good. And plus the plates, they're a really cool shape that just work very well if you're using really wide sections of hair, it's, it's phenomenal. But this one, like I was saying, I was expecting the plates to vibrate because they're bioionic, but it was actually holding its own very well. The plates are very smooth. The heat is very even. It's actually more consistent on the right side versus the, the 10X on the left side when Andre was reading it with the thermal camera. It was staying very consistent to what, what was it, like 230? And then when I got a smaller section of hair, it was 235. But on this side, some of the bigger sections, they were running roughly, what, like 225, 230 as well. And then if I was taking another section, maybe a little bit smaller, it was going up to 240, 245. So a little variable difference, but they're very similar. <laughs> so I wanna see how well this thing curls. I wanna see how easy it's gonna curl. Just because of the rounded packaging around the plates, I really love that. We're gonna keep it at 345. I'm gonna start from the back. I like it, I like it a lot. It's not bad, it's not bad at all. <laughs> and what I mean by not bad, it's really good. Very smooth on the hair. The curved plates. Is this the best flat iron on the market? <laughs> no, it's not. You can definitely find other flat irons on the market that do a really great job as well. But are they using really great technology? Yes, they are. Andre was telling me that he also worked with graphene before and it is, it's a very exotic type of material. But man, this is an expensive flat iron. Almost a $300 flat iron. Wow. Like I can, I can see like, especially if the, you know, if you don't need such high heat, I think that's phenomenal. I think that's really great. Putting that technology and thought and effort into the heat tool, knowing that, you know, most, a lot of people do use a heat tool every single day, either for touch-ups, to restyle their hair. It's just, it's, it's gonna happen. Is it good for your hair? No, in the long run it's not because you kind of want to give your hair some break in between. But you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm just really curious. I just wanna compare it. I mean, that's just so smooth. Wow. And because the plates are so long, you can really get a nice wide section in there. I mean, this flat iron, this Bioionic 10X, it's one of my favorite for styling my hair, curling it. There's like pretty much no effort involved in here. It just goes for you. I mean, it's just so smooth. <laughs> just look at that. Like I'm, I'm just, it's just gliding through my hair like butter and it gives such incredible results. It just makes it so easy but for you. Know, even though that, that guy might have better technology because that makes it easier for you to use it ultimately at the end. Like this is a really good flat, flat iron. I'm not taking anything away from it. It's really good. And I and I mean, it better speak for itself because you are very expensive, ma'am. You are very pricey. So you better shine in that price tag. But do you have to have this flat iron in your house, in your life? Maybe if you're looking to upgrade and you want to invest in your hair tools, try it out, give it a go, see how you like it for your hair type. But again, there are really great tools out there in the market and I'll always compare it to I mean, you can't really compare it just because it doesn't have the same technology. For example, like the GHD, even though it's very expensive as well, it's a little bit of a lower price tag. <laughs> a, little, a little bit lower. I think the Aquage, that one is really, really good as well. I really enjoy that one. I can't really compare it to a Kristen S or a Con Air that I really enjoy just because those are not really in the same category because their technology is far less, even though they're still phenomenal and I always suggest them, they're really great. The 10X is still one of my number ones. Like I can't, I can't deny her. She's just good at what she does. I mean, I, I really enjoyed the Graphene MX for straightening over the 10X, even though these were longer plates and they're vibrating plates, but the 10X, in my opinion, outperforms when it comes to curling the hair. All right, so I pretty much said everything I wanted to say 
while using the tool to kind of see what are their pluses, what are the minuses. And I do want to say where it really outshines is when it straightens the hair. It does a phenomenal job. The plates are very, very smooth. The heat is extremely even and it does an incredible job with just one pass on a lower heat setting. I think that's where it really outshines a lot of the other luxury flat irons that I have tested out over the years and it's really, it's, re it's really good at what it does. This is or could be one of the safer flat irons on the market just because they're using really great materials and technology. I think that's really something to keep in mind when you do purchase a hair tool, you want it to be safer on your hair, something that you control, you can control yourself as a consumer and you can have faith and you can trust the tool in the long run that it's gonna be good for your hair instead of it's going to break your hair in the long run. The one thing I do wanna say is the 10X does outperform and outshine when it comes to curling or giving some kind of bend or a wave to the hair, literally simply just because of the vibrating plates because it literally does the job for you. It kind of moves the hair within the plates, making it really smooth and even when you create the extra tension and friction when you give that twist in the wrist with the plates. So keep that in mind. Like I said, there are phenomenal hair tools on the market. I'm just comparing the very top luxury hair tools on the market and some of them are definitely worth the price tag and then some of them are not. Sometimes they fall short, but if you want a hair tool that's gonna straighten your hair very well, give this one a try. See if you like it. Bioionic really does a really great job with quality over quantity. They really focus on the quality aspect, but Again, the one thing I don't like about the plates is that they made them a lot shorter. They took away the real estate, but added a price tag onto that. But again, please do your research, see what you want out of a hair tool. I was just kind of showing you on my hair type, what it looks like, how it works, how it performs, but I can't really attest to how it performs on super, super curly hair, really naturally curly, maybe really kinky hair, maybe really thick hair that's and course hard to use a flat iron on. So if you do know of somebody, please share them down below with their results. But so far I'm really, really enjoying that Graphene MX. I think it does a phenomenal job at both. It's not the best at both, but it's definitely a phenomenal hair tool. But is it worth the high price tag? I think because of the Graphene and the technology, I think it is because they're trying to really put really different type of technology into their products to really make them outshine or maybe outperform. They don't have the most prettiest packaging in my opinion. I do love the blue, but there are prettier packages on the market. Let's just be completely honest here. But they really do focus on the quality of the products and materials that they put into their hair tools. But keeping that in mind, you guys, let me know your thoughts. And as always, thank you for watching, spending time with me and one of the world's most expensive flat irons on the market, and I'll see you in the next one very soon. Bye.